favorites i'm yes. just going to be sharing a couple of my holy grail products it's products it. like that i have been like totally obsessed with so let's get started so the first thing i've been absolutely loving is this maybelline falsies big lashes volume express and it's double ended and it has the the end for your smaller lashes and the end for your bigger lashes right here this side right here is just absolutely amazing. I just love the way it grasps onto every single lash, um, every single small lash on the bottom lash line. And oh my gosh, it's just my holy grail mascara. I just love it. And this side right here has like a whole bunch of bristles and they are like twisted. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I just love the way it pals the mascara on like a lot without clumping or making them stick together or anything like that. And it just pals the lash, the mascara on. And if you guys can see, I have some on right now. No falsies, but you would think I had on falsies based off how this mascara got my lashes. Mm. It is so perfect. I just absolutely love it. Next I have this Maybelline Fit Me Stick and it's a stick foundation and it promises to leave you shine free and so far it has been living up to what it says it does um, and I really like it because it's really mattifying but you know I don't necessarily need it because I have normal skin however if you have like shiny or oily skin this will be perfect for you you don't have to worry about getting oily and stuff but as for you normal skin girls like me you can actually use this by itself without a setting powder and it is just perf and this color right here is light i just go ahead and mix it with a darker foundation and it gives me a nice mattifying look so perf and it has French on here, and you guys know I'm playful, so I'm going to try to pronounce this word. Find the tint. But I don't know if it's right, but yeah, I'm just kidding around. The next thing I have is this Revlon Full Ready Foundation. And I know I am really late to the Revlon Photo Ready Club because I know everybody been had this foundation. And this one is in the shade... 11 cappuccino and I do have to mix this with a lighter color or lighter shade foundation because it's just absolutely too dark for me it's just like way too dark so I'll have to mix it with a lighter foundation wherever I use it and they don't have my perfect skin tone so I have to do that you guys I really like this and it's like it gives you like a really nice coverage it's not extra matte or it's not extra oily it's like right in between and i really really like it you guys and i've been grabbing for this a lot lately so yeah next thing i'm going to be raving about is my sigma f80 flat top kabuki brush and i've been using this for a while now and if you guys have watched some of my old favorites you would know that this is my go-to foundation brush Along with this one the round top i really really love this one as well but I've been reaching more for this one lately. And I've been, you know, putting on my powder with this one. And excuse the dirtiness, I just got through using it. So yeah, I'm going to clean it soon. This foundation brush is perfect for beginners. I'm not saying I'm a beginner. But if you are a beginner, you really should invest in this brush. I know it's kind of steep. I know it's about 18 bucks, But it is so worth it and I hear it will last you years. It gets that foundation on flawlessly and it gives you like a real nice airbrush look and I, I just love it. I just love it. The next thing that I have been loving is this Revlon Photo Ready and you guys it is awesome. I, by far it's the best drugstore primer I've ever used in, and when I say that if I like forget to take off my foundation or something at night it has my makeup on all day on looking almost flawless the next day like you guys this primer is so like oh my gosh i like it it's my holy grail primer right now so yeah the next thing i'm gonna be chit chatting about is this mac studio finish concealer and um 
I'm just going to take it out and show you guys. I know that um, even though it's in a box, I have used it like twice. Actually, today is the second day. So, um, yeah, I just like to keep my stuff in this original package. But um, this is the shade I'm in. I'm going to have to get one a little bit lighter because it's not quite light enough. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know like what I've been missing. I really love this concealer. It is so like smooth and creamy and just perfect. The only thing, I wish it melt like onto your finger like when you're getting it on a little bit better. Because it's kind of hard to like pick up. And like I'm not the type of girl that loves to use like brushes for my concealer I have brought like a couple of concealer brushes but using concealer brushes especially for like cream concealers is just not my thing so I'm more of a finger concealer to skin girl but yeah um but anyway I've been loving this and it's my favorite by the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is been nice banana luxury powder and you guys, like I said before, I've been loving this. And oh my gosh, you guys. At first, I liked it. But now, my Holy Grail Highlight Powder. And you guys, you want to know why I've been falling in love with this? Because it works so good in conjunction with that MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Like, together, oh my gosh, it works so good. And now I see why so many, like, high beauty gurus use this in conjunction with that um, MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Cause it just works so good together you guys like you really need to try that combination I really love it if you use them together it gives you this flawless like extra matte highlight and it's so subtle but yet stands out at the same time and it keeps your concealer on there all day like I love these two I love like I love these two products together you guys I love it I've been loving is this elf blush and this one is in shift fusion and i actually have it on now and yeah and oh i'm also meant to make sure that i have on the benign banana powder in conjunction with the um, mac studio finish concealer on as well and the primer the revlon photo ready foundation like like i said um i've been using all of these products just about and this one is in fuchsia fusion and I really love it and I have a couple more and you guys I really like this because for an affordable price it is really high quality and it will last you so I really really like these like I'm in love and I'm gonna get the rest of the couple of shades that I did not get so yeah I think I have this like this eyeshadow kit and it's by Wet n Wow and it's called color icon and it tells you like what to put each color at like this one says brow bone this one says eyelid crease and this one says definer so um yeah and you just place all the um you just place all the powders in the spot that it tells you to it's really simple if you're a makeup beginner i would definitely recommend this to you and this one is in 738 comfort zone yes they have different colors and variations and stuff so this is really good for beginners and I am not the best with like eyeshadows and stuff of that sort right now so this is a like a, a perfect and I'm not I'm also not good with mixing shades and colors with these palettes, the shades are already picked for you and they show you like they pick like shades that really complement each other or complements each other and yeah so please get this if you are a beginner the next thing I have is this hairspray and the brand is on and on stands for organic naturals and it's a weave in wig conditioner and detangler is also for your natural hair and I've been using it a lot on my natural hair and I like really love this you guys and yeah it works so good it detangles your hair perfectly and for about two to four months I can't remember which one you can't beat it you cannot beat this it is perf and you can use this on synthetic hair human hair virgin hair Remy your real hair natural hair and it just is good with detangling it get, it moisturizes your hair and all type of good stuff is green tea in there olive oil shea butter and aloe vera you can't go wrong with those ingredients and it has like different smells and kinds and and the scent that I got was cocoa lime 
lashes so I hope you guys can see that but yeah I would really recommend this for like girls with like synthetic wigs and like your human hair and your human hair wigs because um you guys it, it works wonder when you are getting like tangles and stuff out of your hair I used it on um this weave and it just got the tangles right out I really love it but the thing I will say is it doesn't last long. I used this three times and already I'm down here. But you know, if you have the money, it's only two to three dollars. I mean, I say go ahead and just buy it. And they have different smells. So if you don't like like a lime smell, you can definitely try their different scents. So yeah. That wraps up my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.